Epson Epic Vision Ultra LS500 Laser Ultra Short Throw Projector. The LS500's rated brightness is 4000 lumens, which when paired with a 0.6 gain screen gives you the same the image brightness as a 2,400 lumen projector would using a 1.0 gain screen. But when you combine the improved contrast from the grey color with ALR technology, which keeps overhead lights or skylights from washing out the image, you wind up with a much better looking picture than you'd get from a white screen and higher brightness. For this review, I ran all my viewing tests with the bundled screen. As is usual with screen setup, you need to stretch out the screen material on a frame. Epson provides excellent instructions for assembling and mounting it, including a detailed video opens in a new window online. You're well advised to watch it before deciding whether to do the job yourself or hire someone, particularly if you've never set up a screen before. Since the screen weighs 24.3 pounds and measures 88 by 50 by 1.2 inches fully assembled, you'll at the very least want a second person to help move it into place. The projector itself measures 9 by 18 by 14.7 inches, including its feet and weighs 20.9 pounds. Like most 4K USD laser models, it uses a laser phosphor light source, rated for a 20 comma 000 hour lifetime at full power. You can dial down the power setting from 100% to 65% in increments of 5. Lower settings will likely extend the light source's lifetime, but Epson doesn't provide estimates for creating the image. The light source is paired with three 1080p LCD chips and an approach to pixel shifting that doubles the number of pixels per frame on screen. This gives the image only half as many actual pixels as a full 4K, 3840 by 2160 image. But when you compare Epson's 4K Pro UHD projectors side by side with DLP projectors that put a full 4K array of pixels on screen, there's little to no difference in apparent detail. In some cases, Epson's approach actually provides better resolution in the sense of ability to resolve detail. For creating the image, the light source is paired with three 1080p LCD chips and an approach to pixel shifting that doubles the number of pixels per frame on screen. This gives the image only half as many actual pixels as a full 4K. 3840 by 2160 image. But when you compare Epson's 4K Pro UHD projectors side by side with DLP projectors that put a full 4K array of pixels on screen, there's little to no difference in apparent detail. In some cases, Epson's approach actually provides better resolution in the sense of ability to resolve detail. Unlike most of the UST 4K laser projectors we've reviewed, the LS500 doesn't have automatic or manual powered focus. However, the focus control is on the side facing away from the screen, hidden under a magnetically attached front panel cover which helps make focusing easy. Welcome conveniences include three HDMI 2.0B ports, including two on the side facing the screen and one behind the front panel cover for the Android TV dongle. And if Netflix is one of your go-to streaming destinations, you'll be pleased that Epson's is one of the very few Android TV dongles that includes a Netflix app by default. For full HD 3D, which the projector supports with standard RF 3D glasses, I didn't see any crosstalk in my tests, and 3D related motion artifacts were at the low end of what's typical for current projectors. All projectors 3D modes are dimmer than their 2D modes, due to as is usual for Epson's of the difference or decrease in brightness was less for the LS500 than for most competitors, giving it an edge for 3D viewing in ambient light. Dot for gamers. The LS500 offers a much shorter lag time than most of its competitors. Using a bodnometer, I measured 1080p/60 Hz input with 4K enhancement off at 27.2 ms to 27.5 ms, depending on color mode. For 4K/60 Hz input, the range was 20.9 ms to 21.2 ms a few milliseconds longer than Epson's published specs but still snappy enough for all but the most hardcore gamers.